back, ladies and gentlemen, to a whole nother episode of Metro Sim Hustle. Guess what? Did you like that? Did you like that at the end of the last episode, that little treat? Some people did. Some people did. Some people were like, ah, oh, haha. Some people were like, that was it? That was it? That was my treat? I've watched 17 episodes of you play this game blindly, and that's what I get? Fair enough. All right, hello, everybody. <laughs> It's oh god, okay. We're opening doors wrong here at this place. So yeah, we're we're back with some more Metro Sim. So today's episode, I don't know exactly what I want to do. I'm kind of gonna be running around. Now, I think I've done all the side quests. I think. Actually, no, I haven't done all of them quite yet. Um, there is still something I need to do. I need to actually get um the VIP, the VIP list for uh for Carlos, so I still need to finish finish Carlos's uh, a quest. Um, so that that's something. There was an achievement I saw that you could like purchase a home. Is that a thing? That must be this. Yeah, this is okay. So okay, I see now. So seven day rental, seven day rental, seven day rental. Purchase. So the urban estate is not a rental. It is something you actually buy. It's a house. So that's cool. So $10,000 for that. That's a long ways, partner. But uh, wow, look at our daily revenue now. Wow. Okay, so we are, we're making money at our business, I guess. Uh, I haven't really seen it translate into anything quite yet. Katie Stokes has another request. She wants a medium batch of MDMA. Okay, we can do that. So MDMA for Katie, a medium batch for that. Um, some people were saying like, why are you paying for utilities at Garden Park? And I agree, like, why am I, right? I canceled the auto payment for the rent at Garden Park. So I was hoping that would have been it. Doesn't seem like that's it. Somebody did say, maybe it's because you have storage inside of Garden Park. And so the game thinks that you're still using that apartment that's a good shout that's a good shout indeed so one thing that i can do is run run over here right like where are these vip like lists maybe in the hotel i don't even know dude i don't even know what they look like um one thing that i can do is come on this side get our medium batch up and running right let's do that first things first we'll get that going on and i know it's like i think that what is this give this probably gives us like 75 dollars at most when it's done which is a long time for $75, but it's still $75, you know? Actually, it gives us $100, because this is, what, $150 to buy the stuff, and she's saying, I want, I'll give you $250. So this is actually $100. $100, nothing to sneeze at, guys. Nothing to sneeze at. Uh, what the hell is this? It was uh, substance. So we'll do substance first. Substance, and then the die. Medium batch, and start it. Yeah. So we are, like I said, I said this in the last episode, we are coming to the end of our series here very shortly with Metro Sim Hustle. I know, unfortunately, right? People are like, ah, fuck, F, F in the chat, F in the chat. But um, it's okay, because I believe this game will come out with updates, even more updates, right? And when this game gets more updates, you best believe we will be jumping back in to some more Metro Sim. Any updates, any major updates that I, I see, um, that are worthwhile i will keep my eye out for sure and be like you know what we got to come back to some more metro sim i'm not saying today is the last episode of the of the series i'm just saying you know just be aware that um we are coming towards the end of our end of our boat here because you know the show has to continue right the show has to continue and there's a lot of good games out there that are still coming out every single day that we we should uh you know pay attention to right a lot of indie devs, and that's one thing I like to do. I like to showcase indie gay indie dev games. Um, most of you probably know for the most part. Got to support our indie devs, um, you know, to, to the best of our ability, of course, under right terms. <laughs> I say right terms as in, like, don't give me, like, a game that you put, like, a month in. Like, I want to see something that, you know, you spent your hard, hard earned time and hard earned money and, you know, show me what you got, right? Metro Sim Hustle is, is, is a pretty good idea for that. Metro Sim Hustle is, it's a well polished, okay, well polished, maybe time out, but it's an interactive game that's fun, right? I think a lot of people are uh, 
are enjoying Metro Sim. Now, somebody did make an interesting comment, and they said, I'm thinking about buying this game, but I'm not sure yet. It's fun to watch, but I don't know if I would be able, or if I, if I would have as much fun as I do watching it. Now, my thoughts on this game about purchasing it at this given moment, timestamp it now, like August 21st or something, whatever the day is, would I recommend buying it? I would say yes, and I would say no. So yes, in the fact that you want to go through everything that you see that we do here, right? Like if you want to have your own experiences, awesome, do it. If you want to, if you want to interact and do all this, awesome, do it. If you want to, um, by the way, we're using the coffee for the first time. If you want to play, you know, if you just want to get this game so you can gamble, do it. Metro Sim, do it. You know, drive a train every day, do it. If you are the type of person, however, who buys game, and sometimes it's, it's, I, I fall under this category. If you're the type of person who buys games to have a replayability, that is a little bit of an issue at this given time right now of this game. I don't know if the game has the replayability yet. Yet. Um, they are adding to it. Obviously, you can see, you know, we, we, we got our own retail store. But once you do all the quests, you're not going to start a game over again. Like, you're not going to start a new file over again, right? You're just going to live your life here in Metro Sim and, um, and kind of do the same things over and over. More content definitely would be a huge plus for this game, for sure. So, yeah, there, there, there's a few things here and there that could be worked on. But I think the foundation of this game is in a very good state. I, I do believe it. I just hope they don't, like, did, you know, they don't jump to, to the next thing too quickly. Because I did mention that they, the same people that developed this game is actually developing another game. And uh, you can, like I said, I'm going to say it again. You can go ahead and download this game. It's called Bartender bartender hustle you can download this game right now and play the demo i believe for free on steam oh dude lubricant oh, lubricant that's what we need we need a lubricant but even then like uh you know uh i just hope they don't i hope they just don't go away from metro sim because metro sim's pretty good and who knows maybe bartender hustle will be better no, I did it. No, I didn't. Oh, I thought I hit the jackpot. By the way, you get an achievement if you hit this. That's why I'm doing it. But I feel like it's rigged. I'm going to try to hit this, though. Oh, my God. Oh, what the hell was that? Like, I was so good at this as a child at Chuck E. Cheese. I can't do it in this game. I, I just can't. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like you get like a hundred plus tickets if you get, if you hit that. Oh, you son of a gun. I hate, I hate everything about it. I hate it all. Oh wait, more lubricant. That's two lubricant bottles. So we got to keep our eye out. I forgot who needed the lubricant bottles. Somebody needed lub. Was it you? Oh, excellent. I've misplaced my machine lubricant. I have had, I had five bottles in total. Can you find them? It may have been that man with the black sleeveless shirt who took them. I'm sure it was by accident though. In any case, can you please return them to me? Okay, so five lubricants. So uh, Teddy needs lubricant. So did he not see the ones that were in his store? Okay. Um, all right. That's that's a little weird. So three more bottles of lubricant, and we know what they look like. They're in the white, you know, white tall bottles. I think I've seen a couple of them somewhere. Whoa, hey, how you doing? Uh, the guy with the black sleeveless shirt. I'm guessing it's this guy who thinks he's a robot, right? That is a water bottle. Maybe I've been seeing a lot of water bottles. Is this the sleeveless shirt guy? That's no, not. He doesn't have sleeveless shirt. Okay. Well, keep your eye out for lubricant, I guess. Keep your eye out for lubricant. What else do we need to keep our eye out for? There's something else, right? 
Oh yeah, the VIP list. Keep your eye out for that. Like that is probably what I was mistaken. Yeah, all right. You think Jabs has it? No, Jabs probably doesn't have it. I think it's outside or inside. Probably inside. Dude, that guy. Sleeveless, sleeveless shirt guy. Lubricant, right? Lube his body up? Maybe. Leave it around out here somewhere? No. Let's go in here. It's right next to the arcade. The reason why I'm going in here is because it is next to the arcade. Maybe there's some lubricant he left in this. Maybe not. I don't know. Black cigarettes. Sure. Now, I do want to, like, talk with the, uh... Ooh. Talk with the sewer monster again. Because... You know, you can sell him anything, and maybe he has, like, a new plushie for me. I mean, I could be going to anybody for a plushie, right? I should probably just go to anybody for a plushie and not make a special trip out of it. So somebody also did say maybe 1800 for the time. 1800 to try to hack the hack the laptop. Maybe that's the problem why you can't uh, hack the laptop. Good point. Um, so maybe 1800 We'll go there 1800 Try to figure that out and see. Why is there so bumping music, dude? So that's something that uh, I'll keep my eye out for sure. No lubricant in that alleyway, as you see. Okay. Um, Poshmark. Posh, not Poshmark. Like that's an app, I think, or a website. Posh, the um, the store. Po oh, lubricant. Cool. So the lubricant can be outside too. That makes me nervous. I like that. That makes me nervous because it's like. How many times have I walked past the lubricant? I have no idea. Furniture store. So I'm also trying to look for the VIP list. So maybe the furniture store has a VIP list. If not a VIP, VIP list, maybe lubricant? Maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe? Do you have like VIP list in here or something, my man? Let's talk to you, Felix. Uh, let's buy... Do you have a plushy turtle? You have a plushy turtle for $133. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't think there's much... I mean, there's not a lot of furniture in this game. Which is another, you know, thing about the whole replayability thing. But if we can, like, get more furniture in this game, that would be kind of cool. Right? Different kind of furniture. Um... Yeah, there, there, I mean, there's there's a lot of things you could do. This 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 city map has the ability to expand. I, I do believe that. Hopefully that's true, but I do believe it. Let's go to Posh. Maybe Posh will will have a VIP list. Maybe lubricant. I haven't been in here in a while. Okay, I'm doubting that. I, I don't know. I'm starting to think like the VIP list now is like. I'm starting to think it's uh, it's at. The bounce house, maybe? Red glow stick. Let's go ahead and eat some food. We do need to eat some food. Let's have a cherry Coke. Let's have a coffee. Let's have a big log. We are going to need to eventually make our entree. Dude, orange chicken sounds good. Does that not sound good? Who doesn't like some orange chicken? I love orange chicken. Chinese food is good. I don't think I've met anyone who didn't like Chinese food. Now, I'm not saying there isn't anybody out there that doesn't like Chinese food. There's probably somebody that doesn't like Chinese food, but I haven't met anybody that haven't, that hasn't liked Chinese food. It, it even bodes well, like, even, like, the other way, like, um, like, pizza. Like, have you ever met anyone who didn't like pizza? Now, there probably is somebody out there that doesn't like pizza, but again, I've never met anyone who didn't like pizza. Hello? Oh, cafe. Maybe the cafe? We'll check out the cafe. I'm kind of like just going through, seeing all the different things. Yo, what is that? Oh, it's a tip. Oh, we could tip the barista for sanity. Oh, absolutely. Does that help me? Yeah, it does. So you could tip the sushi bar and you could tip the cafe girl. Cool. And we can use her toilet. <gasps> Lubricant! Awesome. So we... Wait a sec. We found lube in the bathroom? That... That might have been used for something else. <laughs> I wonder if there's going to be lubricant in the sushi bathroom then. So we have four, right? Two, three, four. Yeah, we have four. We just need one more bottle of lubricant. That was lucky, dude. Like, I could have walked in there and walked out. 
and not even gone into the bathroom. But I am trying to keep my eye out, right? I'm looking for lubricant. I'm looking for um, for for VIP list. I don't know if there's one or multiple. I kind of forgot already on the VIP list. But I am going to go into the sushi restaurant, go into the bathroom, just to see. I'm pretty sure there's a bathroom in here. But we're going to go in here and we're going to be like, hey, is there any lubricant in here, my man? Maybe, probably. Oh, dude. Almost. <coughs> I was thinking, dude. I was thinking, you, you run a type shit here. Huh? Oh, wait, we haven't talked to this guy, right? We haven't done his quest, huh? Uh, I haven't found any good sushi in the city yet. I hope you can change my mind. I would not feed my dog your crap. Is this a sushi restaurant? Uh, okay, he likes that. You found the right place. My sushi is the best. The competition is weak and pathetic. You must get a lot of competition from the local pizza restaurant. Man, this place is deserted. It's just me. Quick, really, uh, really quiet. Crap, he's... Okay, here we go. Wait, I have a special assignment for you. Are you willing to help me? Yes. We have not done the sushi guy. A man of courage. A, compute, a, a, a competing restaurant has opened for business in a nearby district. They have been tainting the city with their repulsive advertisement posters. They are robbing me of my valuable customers and robbing my customers of the finest cuisine in the city. My competition must be eliminated. I command you to eliminate every last vest, vestige of their advertisement campaign throughout the city. And I will have a special reward for you. Now go! Awesome. Cool. How much are you selling that for, dude? $11? I already have one. Okay, cool. So this is something that's gone under everybody's radar, right? Everybody probably... Not a, oh, a monkey? $28 for a monkey? Could get some co cocaine leaves from her. Um, I'll take that. But, yeah. Uh, everyone... I don't think anybody... I don't think a single person through this Let's Play series suggested the uh, sushi guy. I could be wrong, but I don't think anybody did. Now we have that. So he wants the advertisements gone. And obviously we know what that is. That's the uh, the pizza place, right? Should be the pizza place at least. But we are still looking for one bottle of lubricant. And we are still looking for um, a VIP list. So, and keep our eyes out, I guess, on advertisements? It has to do with the pizza place. That That's my guess. Thank you for that. I wonder why they put so many, like... Josh, we already talked to you. I wonder why they put so many like water fountains around the around the world. It's kind of funny. Now, with the advertise the advertisement would be outside. I think is what he said. Oh, dude, there's a lubricant right there. Oh, nice. All right, so the lubricant is done. We have finished the lubricant side quest. So Teddy should be happy. I'm gonna take a peek to see if there's any uh, advertising that's going on down here. Nope. Okay. Let's go ahead and check our $900, really. That must be from our business. How's our business doing? $664. Our person who actually um, sells items is now selling items for us. Good God. Love that. Okay. Uh, still no advertisement, but this is this is, this is is him. This is the person he's not liking, I, I, I think. Might be inside places. Got orange juice. Um, yeah, let's go drop off our lubricants to Mr. You know, Mr. Teddy himself. Yeah, the average. I, I thought like I would have walked outside and would have been like, bam, advertisement, bam, advertisement. Nope. Let's go finish Teddy. So Teddy is going to be done. Carlos still needs to be done. I have a feeling it's in the bounce house now. Like I've been everywhere. There you go. hundred dollars. Thank you, bud. Um, Okay, so Teddy's done. Carlos, uh, sushi guy. Yeah, okay. So let's head over to the bounce house. We're going to go inside the bounce house. And we're going to see. Was there an advertisement you think in Teddy's? I hope not. Like, let me go into the clip just, just in case to see if there's an advertisement inside the building. If they're doing it inside or outside, I don't know what. Okay, it's not inside. So, bounce house. Uh, VIP list. Let me let me actually pull up that message real quick. So, Carlos, who are you? You, uh, Yushi. Carlos, Carlos. Okay, Carlos. 
I've been juggling a lot of extra work since we've been expanded. I lost track of my VIP lists. It's plural. I had one for every day of the week. I ain't even sure I lost them all in the club. I'm not okay. After all, so he's not sure if he did lose them all in the club. That's terrible. <laughs> That's bad news for us. Ay yeah yeah. All right. Well, what we'll do is we'll go over here. We'll go see our store. We'll clean up anything that needs to be cleaned up. Um, we'll go inside the bounce house. We'll see if we can find a VIP list. We'll see if we can find advertisements of some sort. We actually should probably restock this bad boy, huh? Let's go in here. Restock. Oops, sorry. Restock. 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 So we have at least one of everything. How much money do we have now? $621, dude. Not a lot. Okay. All right. Um frozen entree we do need to like start being conscious of the fact that um we're gonna need twelve hundred dollars for rent eventually here soon so yeah we gotta make a move i mean metro the metro is there for us all the time so it's easy money there so let's actually eat that real quick and then let's actually get another one in there we go how's our hygiene good uh bladder is also good Energy's fine that's good good all right Cool. Let me out. So now as we go to the bounce house, we're going to go to the bounce house, get our thing on. You know, I don't want to pay $20 to go inside this thing just to be duped. That's the only problem I have with this right now. Just to be like, oh, yeah, you know, I don't even know if I did lose my VIP list here. I'm not sure. Yeah, thanks for the $20. You better pay me. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so go through and another thing we're looking into here is um possibly oh 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 that's that's one that's one one thing that we're also looking for is advertising if there's any advertising in here okay so we have found one list of i'm assuming five very loud. By the way, you get a um, achievement if you buy a cocktail from this lady. So let's buy a cocktail. Uh, yes, I'd like a dirty martini, please. Bond, James Bond. There's your achievement right there. Thank you. I'm just looking for a list. Oh, is that one right there? Look at that. Okay, there's two lists. So two lists are done. Maybe upstairs? Again, he, he's not sure if they're like... Oh, there's another one? Okay, there's three. He's not sure if they're all in the club, which is kind of... Uh, kind of scary. These are all locked, right? Yeah. One in here? Let's, let's bet. Let's go. We gotta hit it. Heal me. Shit. Yeah! Yeah! Hit me. Hit me. Stay. I do better on the lower bet ones, dude. Hit me. Stay. Okay, fair enough. Stay. Push. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Dang it. Okay. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Uh. That was lucky. That was very lucky. Hit me. Hit me. Son of a gun. Okay, hit me. Give me a 10. God, gosh darn it. Push. Hit me. Stay. Oh, I, that was lucky. That was very, very lucky. 16 hit. Yep. 12, hit me. 13, hit me. It's all going downhill now. Hit me. It's all going downhill now. Okay, we won that back. Stay. Damn it. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, that was lucky. Hit me. Oh, baby. Now we're getting into the groove. Hit me. So, yeah, hit me. I had to hit. Okay, we're back to even. Hit me. Hit me again. Stay. Okay, that's where I walk away. How much money do we have now? 749. I think we made a profit. 
I lost track, but I think we did it. Okay, so no more lists in this club. We have at least three. And I, I'll talk to Carlos before we leave here. Just to double check to see how much we actually have. Keep my eyes diverted. Wait. We've done her quest, right? Maria? Yeah. Okay, walk out. Okay, two more lists. Two more lists. Now, I don't think those two lists are going to be in the club. They might be at the casino. You think? So it's almost... Okay, so the casino is officially open. And it's almost 1800, which we could go do uh, both. We can go check out the casino to see if there's lists in there. I don't know if we... I don't remember if we checked through. Uh, but we will... Yo. I thought that was it. Um, now that we know what we're looking for, we, things will pop up in our eyes here. Things will pop out a little bit more. Um, we can look for lists in the casino, and then we can dart over to Dodger and Bluff, now that it would be 1800, and uh, we can, you know, for the most part, see if we can hack into that computer at a reasonable time now. It's still not the VIP list. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Oh. Okay, yeah, so maybe in here? Possibly? I don't know. I'm not feeling pretty good about it. Remember when we blew all of our money here? Okay, horse racing, no. No. Can we hit this? Son of a bitch. Just walk away. Just walk away. Just walk away. That's all you needed to do. You just needed to hit that and bam, that's it. A quick one hundo and walk out. Walk in, walk out. Check to see if there's any VIP list. There's no VIP list. Get $100. So be it. Now, let's go to Dodger and Bluff and see. Oh. Uh, and see. I am still looking out for the list, though. I mean, you don't think the list would be in the hotel, would you? Let's see. I mean, we're here. Might as well check it. I mean, the list could be at Dodger and Bluff, too. I don't know, dude. I'm kind of a little bit lost on the, the remaining of the VIP list. I thought I, I I looked pretty, like, pretty good through the, um, what is it? Through the, through the bounce house, but maybe not good enough. Do you have a VIP list here, my lady? No. Okay. It's very calm and relaxing in here. I love this place. Can I just live here instead? The music kind of reminds me of like an old, like a Minecraft, <laughs> Minecraft song. Anyways. Let's go to Dodger and Bluff and see what we have going on there. Maybe we can finally now hack into it at a certain time. I am keeping my eye out though. Watch it. Oh, cross it. Okay, um, oh, no, I just keep seeing white paper on the ground. I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like the, the paper is going to be outside, the VIP list. I feel like it's going to be a specific location. Again, it could be at the freaking bounce house still, and I just didn't look clear enough, but, um, anyways, let's see if we can get into this. So, I'm, I am a little bit nervous if, if I can get into this laptop, because... I'm not good at the password thing. So, yeah. Here we go. 21st floor, menswear. All right. Um, there's still more, like, presents that you still need to find in this game, too. Because once you get all the presents, you also get, um, you get an achievement for that as well. So, let's see here. It's past 1800. Let's double check. Okay, it is past 1800. Maybe this is the time. Can't hack the computer. All right, so I think that is, um, I think that kind of, like, puts the nail in the coffin here for this. No. Yeah, for this. Got a big one for you. Some head of security, Dolt, left a laptop in the meeting room. 
Yeah, I think this is, I think that's done. I think we're done there. So, oh well, at least we know now, officially, that uh, that's done. All right. Any VIP list here? Anything? No? You don't think in the bathroom, do you? You don't think in the bathroom, do you? Like, it'd be stupid, but you never know. You never know. I've seen crazier things. Nope. All right, cool. Let's get the hell out of here. Probably never have to come back to this place ever again. Now that we kind of, like, know. It's like, well, maybe there's a possibility for the computer. There's not a possibility. There's just not. No more. No more possibility. No, no comprende. No comprende. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so one thing that we can do today, or at least, you know, I know, like, one th what, one thing we can do today. Dude, you're so far into the episode. One thing you can do today. One thing we will do right now is we're actually going to go to the Metro. We're going to go make some money. Going to go finish the day off on some Metro, Metro life, you know, driving a train. Oh, we still need to actually talk to, um, to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still need to, like... Uh, dating. We still need a date. Still need to cook. Um, I think there's an achievement if you order pizza to your house, too. So, I, I would like to do that as well. So, there's still a few things I want to do in this episode, obviously. It's a little bit of everything. Alright, so here we go. Um, destination. Oh, I need to do the, uh, brakes. Parking brake. Um, right there. Okay, let's go. Have your fingers on the right keys. Now the you, you are now on the metro line. The metro line. The next stop is Twin Brooks. Twin Brooks. Make sure I don't go too fast. So somebody did say, <clears throat> "What happens if you drive your train into the end, right? Into this this crashing it at the end?" I've been told. <laughs> I've been told nothing serious happens. It just damages your train and you have to pay for the damages. Okay. You don't die, at least. That's good. There is, however, there is a achievement for disabling your train. Oh, God. So, if you are, like... If you're kind of, like, an achievement nerd, like I am sometimes, um, you can definitely go ahead and just d drive the train into the into the end there and you'll get an achievement for disabling it so there you go <laughs> the next stop is there's a lot of achievements in this game too i kind of i kind of appreciate that there's a lot of crazy things there's like take lsd and mda at the same time which i'm like wow then there's like an achievement where selling uh, contraband or selling illegal substance to a NPC themselves. Ooh, that was close. Shit, I overshot it. I overshot that, son of a gun. Back it up. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. No, 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 stop, stop. Get out. Change that. Okay. All right. And this is a good, what is it? Like a good 300, 350, 390 um, dollar job, right? That's good. I mean, it's good. It will help us buy what we need to buy, right? And I do want to get like the level three license also. That's, that's, a, that's a goal of mine too. Honk at the other train. Good job. I've never played like train, train simulator, right? <laughs> train what is it? Train sim world or something like that, or never got into that. I think I might have played like a very old one back in the day, like really old type. I forgot the name of it, but it was like a CD-ROM, and you put it into the computer, right? I know I say that like, oh, CD-ROMs are are a thing of the past. They're not, but. You know. Get the security threat. Do that. Do this. Okay, this the the terrorist threat or the you know 
whatever threat we have going on here is very uh, is very consistent today. We do have 69 passengers, giggity. South Roper Common is where we're going to next. I think that might be the last stop. Okay, that man. Good job. Oh shit, I'm going way over the speed limit. We're gonna get here extra fast, huh? <laughs> All the way, all the way, all the way. Slam on the brakes, slam on the brakes, slam on the brakes. There we go. So fast. Four seconds to spare. You love that. Cool. This, this is the last one, I think. It's like the big load, like the 104 passengers. 60 miles an hour. I wonder, like, in real life, like, driving in the metro line, I wonder how, like, is it exciting? Is it is it boring? Is it, you know... Is there like dedicated Metro line drivers out there that are like, yeah, this is the best job ever. Oops. So seems like in level two train, I don't know if it's going to be different in the other train, like the level three train, but the level two train seems like um, 60 miles an hour is the fastest. Oh, good, good stuff. So that was our last of it, so we're going to drop everybody off, and we're going to go ahead and get to the end, end place here. Bam. Continue to the exit route. I could just send it right here, dude. What if I just sent it? Should I just send it? Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I just go all the way? Should I just do it? I think I might do it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. Not yet. Not yet. I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for the expenses. Where's where's the stop at? Okay, a little bit up, a little bit up. I'm not ready for it. Oh baby. Two dollars. What is two dollars to me? Eight dollars and sour cream potato chips. Thank you. Three hundred and eight dollars. Really? Okay. So only three hundred dollars. I don't know why I was thinking like three ninety. But you can see our skill points. We actually got six hundred and sixteen, which was way more than I would uh, I expected. Last time I think we got like three hundred skill points. I wonder why the difference is there. I don't know, but we're at least closer to the you know level three. Very very close. Well, not very very close, but closer. All right. I think last time we got three hundred skill points. All right, so let's head back to our place. So, if you take a look at our money, we have $1,300. Yeah. So, like I said, earlier in this episode, I talked about replayability. If you want to just, like, drive a train all day and hit the casino all day and, and download the, the adult version of this game, the free DLC that uh, gives you all the um, uncensored version. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could replay it all... Wait, is that a door? I guess you could replay it in that sense, right? You could feel like the real deal, dude. All right. This this place has the freaking uh, the Minecraft music as well, also. So our nutrition is getting low, but I do plan on actually ordering a pizza and seeing how that thing works. I would like to know how that all works out. But shut the door. Okay, so let's do that. Let's let's order a pizza. Oh, we do have a coffee pod right there. So let's see. Uh, pizza. Deliveries usually arrive within 15 minutes of ordering. Looking for a side hustle? Visit City Pizza. Okay. Give me uh, give me a large pizza. Pizza order. Achievement unlocked. That's what I wanted. All right, now let's get into the dating. Let's talk with Erica again. Hi, you're cute. Wow, nice tattoos. Was it painful? Hey. Ooh, what do you think of my new haircut? So how much fruit juice did it take for you to get your hair like that? I don't think she liked that. Oh, dude, he just threw it in. Good for him. Hey, do you like my new haircut? I like it. Where did you get your haircut? Okay, she likes me talking about myself. I already go to a hotel room book tonight. Just saying. Oh, okay. I have a gambling addiction. Meet me outside of the casino at 10. I can make an unreal Hawaiian pizza. Oh, I like cheese pizza. Kind of. I'm a cheese pizza kind of gal. Every freaking girl in this world is a cheese pizza kind of gal. But Hawaiian is good too. Danielle's a cheese pizza kind of gal. I bet you never dated a train operator before. Roller skating? Are you even old enough to be dating? I can think of 50 different ways to make you climax. Fifty. 
50? Am I missing something? Okay, um, I never dated a train operator before. No, I haven't, really. That's your job? Awesome. If you date me, I can offer you a free one-week Metro Pass. That's not a big flex. Since you had the commitment to get all that ink done, will you also commit to sleeping with me? Okay, that's, that's a little weird. There must be something seductive about tattoos and a smile. Oh, shoot. Um, I think she'll like the Metro Pass. Oh, damn it. All right, well, we had her there for a sec, and then we lost her. All right, let's talk to Lynn. Hey, you look like the type that could use a sporty girl in your life. Uh, okay. Hi, I'm no pro, but I can work my body. Did I mention that I know how to operate a high-speed train? Oh, really? That's your job? Cool. I foresee an exciting future for the two of us. You look like you're awful in bed. I could parallel park my car in Amazing Scramble Eggs. She likes this. Yep. You're the full package. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> look, I know you think I'm gorgeous, but I like to take my time with relationships i could use a sporty person in my life i spend so much time in a, in a digital world oh yeah could i be the one i could really go for a swim want to meet up you want it come get it oh dude give me your heart and we'll forever be one damn it i don't know which one to do damn it damn it dude damn it all right all right Let's talk with Stephanie. Newcomer in the city. Hi, I like your necklace. She's more of about herself. Uh, I've never been on the date before. I play the piano. Just started taking bowling lessons and twist. Uh, what? Oh, bowling lessons. Where the hell did I say bowling lessons? You're the most attractive person I've ever seen in my life. Damn it. All right. Well, we tried with the dating today. Maybe next time we'll, we'll, we'll get that done. Let's have our large pizza. Okay. So let's eat it. Oh, we get four slices. Nice. Okay, well, that's good. Let's have some chips to go with the pizza, I guess, and, like, wash it down with a nice martini. Oh, dude, our sanity went up. But I don't know how I feel about this. Yep, we're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing that. You already know, coffee pot, fridge. I forgot we had stuff in the fridge, dude. Let's put the pizza in the fridge. Put the pizza in the fridge. Put some, I guess, beer in the fridge. I'm not gonna drink it, really. Bottle of whiskey. Um, I know it's all blurry. Put a bunch of lockpicks that we don't need. Put them away. There we go. All right. And then, uh, do we need a microwave anything? Uh, no. No, we do not. Okay, let's run upstairs or stumble upstairs. I mean, come on, dude. You had one glass. You have one glass of martini. You shouldn't be feeling this way. It's a martini. Jesus Christ. It's not that big of a deal. Um, let's go bladder and then go hygiene. There we go. Sounds good to me. Let it out. There you go. Okay. All right. So let's cuddle in with our plushies. But that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Metro Life Sim. We have a lot to more do, I guess. Uh, it seems like we do have a lot to more to do. Anyways, it's been a pleasure and honor. And I will see you in the next Metro Sim Hustle. As you already know. Do take care. This is for all of you. Not just a song to listen to. Something to give you hope to hang on to. Uh -huh.